Uh, we, it is another Christmas on Infinite Earth's tie-in issue of Stirfy Squadron. And as you can see, this one, it has got Captain Marbles, the real one, Biffy Baston. He's up front on the cover, and that is definitely the most exciting part of this issue. Uh, this is the third Christmas on Infinite Earth's tie-in from this series. Uh, this is issue 52. And so far with the tie-ins, the quality has been inconsistent to be polite. The first one, issue 50, that was pretty bad. But then the second tie-in, issue 51, was really, really good. Like it had very little to do with Christmas on Infinite Earths, but it was a great comic. And it ended on a cliffhanger. And rather than get straight back to that story... We're getting back to another of the book's subplots, of which there are like 4 billion. And for this issue, I'm not going to waste any time trying to explain what the Sturfy Squadron are, or who are members of the Sturfy Squadron, or how this book technically had like 40 different superheroes as its stars. Because, well, this issue, it only has two actual members of the Squadron. Fast Man and Liberty Beale. Uh, they have just gotten married as well. Uh, we've also got Green Lanterns, the original, John Scott. And of course, Captain Marbles, the real one, Biffy Baston. And what's happened is, these three characters here, they fell into a porthole and they wound up here, in Farrah City, where Captain Marbles, the real one, Biffy Baston, lives. And since it's Christmas on Infinite Earths, they get attacked by the Shadow People from the first four issues of that story. So these four heroes, they team up and try to deal with the Shadows. Uh, the Shadows, they're like the henchmen of the big bad Ant Monitor. So this is probably, so far, the most legit tie-in to the crossover. Look, there's a big old Shadow person. But they deal with the shadows quite fast. And the rest of the story is downtime with these characters. Some cute moments along the way. Uh, Liberty Beale, uh, her and Albran, they are probably my favourite ones off of the squadron. And I like her relationship with Fast Man. And this, uh, this, is, like, this is like their honeymoon. Because in issue 50, they got married. And then when they walked out of church, they fell into the porthole with green lanterns. So here we have some stuff with green lanterns and Captain Marbles, the real one, Biffy Baston. They're trying to work out what's going on, why they've appeared in Farrah City. And they're trying to find some way for the others to come back home. And they decide to go to the old wizard Shabang for some help. And really this isn't the most exciting story ever, but it's fine. Uh, first, they get sent to this advert for cartoons, and then finally, Shabang, he opens up a portal to send them back home. And we end with Captain Marbles, the real one, Biffy Baston. He goes off to take part in the Christmas on Infinite Earth's main series. But it's not over yet. Because then we have got a backup story, which is another of the many, many subplots. In issue 50, some evil Nazi scientists, they captured the Justice Society of Superheroes. And they fired them all off into space in separate rockets. Because what the book really needed was to take supporting characters and spin them off into another seven or eight individual plot lines well this here this is what happened with Stephen Ortman and I believe this is based and modeled after a golden age Stephen Ortman story uh, it's quite simple and short but uh, the good thing is we got a teaser for the next issue and it promises we're getting back to the plot from the last issue and that one was great there is worse comics than this. It really does feel like a stopgap and a whole strand of sending these characters to Farrah City. 
It really serves no ultimate purpose. It, it doesn't add anything to an overarching story or give us any important information or developments or story beats for these characters but it's fine for a plot that goes nowhere uh, the backup story is much the same uh, yeah the whole thing let's just go on with the word fine it is fine i give it seven thumbs up